Hello everyone and welcome back. This video is going to be about how the internet works. A quick review. We Now if you remember we've already talked about this. You watched a video early on about it. So this is going to be kind of a quick review. But it's important I think to bring this back up because it kind of frames everything else we're going to be doing over this unit because how the internet works is basically what we're going to be doing. We're going to be making a part of the internet. So just to refresh, whenever you go to a website in your web browser, these are the steps that happens. First, whenever you put in the URL, a DNS server converts that into an IP address. For example, if you go to www.youtube.com, it checks the DNS and the DNS comes back with YouTube's IP address. And then your browser sends a request to this IP address via HTTP, HTTP standing for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. When you're thinking about HTTP, just remember that it is a protocol. It's kind of like a format for a date. Um, it's got a lot of other information, such as your IP address, when it was sent, the specific page you want, etc. But it's just a, a protocol, a way to format data. It's nothing super special about it other than it's just a specific format for data. Now this request hops between a bunch of servers until it finally gets to the destination. When it reaches the final server, that server will build a response, usually HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, sometimes just HTML, or sometimes just JSON, or a few other formats that it can send back, but usually it's HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and then it will send it back to your computer. When your computer receives it, your browser will render that into the actual page. So it'll take that HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and then render it to the page so you can see it and interact with it. And that's, that's pretty much how the internet works in a nutshell. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I'll be happy to help. Thanks.